If you're thinking about a really good gift that you want to give someone, this is, I've got a really good idea for you, especially if you like to create artwork and you already have some images that you like. Blankets. So this is the, one of the first blankets I made, but I basically made it with Elmer's glue. I would draw on pieces of fabric and then I would paint over it with watered down acrylic paint and then wait for it to dry, wash it out, and wherever my glue was, I would have these cool designs. So this was my first alphabet blanket. And then I discovered a site called Spoonflower. Some of you may have heard of Spoonflower before. They print, you can print custom fabric, wallpaper, wrapping paper, a lot more than that. And today I'm gonna to show you some of the things that I printed using Spoonflower. I realized that it would be a lot easier just to design an alphabet blanket in Illustrator or Photoshop and then just print it. So this is the second alphabet blanket I did. These are just vintage images that I found on the Graphics Fairy. And so I found um, all of these really awesome ones. You can see the alligator for A. This is the organic cotton, so it has a little bit of stretch. I can draw and paint, but I really, I can't sew very well. As you can see, you can tell I just put softer material on the back. But I really liked how the, it turned out. So then when I had my daughter, I wanted to do something a little bit different, and so I did an alphabet blanket, and I used butterflies from the Graphics Fairy. I just cleared out all the color and put my own custom colors in for each letter of the alphabet. So salmon, red, mantis, who knew that was the color? <laughs> Green, you probably know that, blue. And um, fuchsia. So anyway, I really like this, and I, she gets a lot of compliments on it when we're out. I mean, you can put anything on it. You could put one of your paintings on it. Watercolor would look really nice, I feel like, on these. And this is, again, the organic cotton. So let me kind of tell you how Spoonflower works, and then I'll just give you an honest review. This is not a paid um, or sponsored tutorial, but I just, I thought a lot of you might be interested in um, how the fabric looks after you wash it a few times and how to get your prints on this fabric. So basically all you need is a picture of anything. So if you've painted something, you can scan it into the computer. I designed these on Illustrator and I just tried to make them the size of the actual fabric because usually it works on a repeat. So I just wanted the whole alphabet and so I just designed it as big as I knew that yard of fabric was going to be. And so you just upload your design and then you print it and they have a bunch of different fabric options. You could even print on canvas, you can print on cotton. The last one I did for my daughter, I did this cool design. I really love Poland. I lived there for a year and a half. And this reminds me of their, some of their folk art. And so this is just on muslin. So this was a little bit cheaper. I didn't have to back it. I like how bright the colors are and it's just nice and light for the summer. And also I'm not worried about her being too hot when she's wrapped up in this. And when she was a new baby, I would wrap her, I'd use it as a swaddle. So now let me give you the review. <laughs> now you can see everything that I've done. Also, I'm thinking about maybe selling some of these blankets on Etsy. I don't know. I haven't ventured into that territory yet, but I might. Why not, right? I already have the designs and stuff. By the way, it's bedtime at my house. So if you hear screaming, running, that's just all part of the game right now. Okay, I just moved outside because I don't think you could really see. It was getting pretty dark inside my house. As you can see, this is my one complaint. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. I was filming in my house with all the blinds down the sun's going down. But you can see this is the fabric that's only been washed a few times, and this has probably been washed, I don't know, 30 or 40 times. With this fabric, fabric in particular, this would be my only complaint is that it just kind of starts to pile, and you lose some of these details. So my baby's only about seven months old, so this isn't that old of a blanket. And that's quite a bit of, of fading and also piling on that one. So this is the one that I did, print, I printed using muslin. And this is the one that's been washed a lot. And then here is the one, I'm just gonna put it right under that, that has not. So you can't tell, I mean, it's not, it's not a humongous difference. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's definitely faded. The older one is faded, just when you wash it. So that's something to be aware of. So anyway, that is my review of Spoonflower. Again, here are the, these are the blankets I made. So here's the butterfly alphabet. This is the vintage kind of animal alphabet. This is the first one I ever made, not with spoon flour, just with drawing using glue on fabric and acrylic paint. I do have a tutorial on how to do that. I'll put the link 
somewhere on this screen. Here's my favorite one, is this muslin swaddle. So, so anyway, if you want to make a really awesome gift for someone, this is a great idea. If you have a ton of like your children's artwork, it'd be really cool to scan them into the computer and make a blanket for them out of it. I thought it would be good just to, to let you know about the services that Spoonflower provides, just because I use it a lot for presents and gifts and my own creations. And anyway, I hope that was helpful for you if you've been looking into printing on fabric, printing wallpaper, I don't know. <laughs> There's, I'm sure, a lot more videos, but I thought I'd show you what I've made and just give you my opinion about it. So thanks so much for watching. Sorry about the lighting and have a great day.